Hola y bienvenidos a Medical Spanish with Michael. So in order to speak Medical Spanish, it's super important to realize that medical acronyms in Spanish are not quite the same. Uh, some acronyms are in the exact reverse order. For example, ICU in Spanish is UCI, which stands for La Unidad de Cuidados Intensivos. But sometimes they aren't exactly in the reverse order. For example, the Spanish acronym for COPD is EPOC, and the Spanish acronym for PCOS is SOP. Don't worry, I'll cover exactly what these mean along with several other common medical acronyms in Spanish. We'll even fit in a little quiz before the end. So, empecemos. Let's get started. Uh, starting off with the CT scan, which we know the longer version of that is a CAT, a CAT scan. So in Spanish, a CT scan is una TAC, una TAC. Una tomografía axial computarizada. And to say an IV in Spanish, then you would say una VI, VI, which stands for vía intravenosa, vía intravenosa. And then to say MRI in Spanish, uh, it would be la imagen por resonancia magnética and you might guess that this would be an IRM, IRM, but in Spanish they actually only use a two-letter acronym, RM. But I have heard a lot of patients, uh, Spanish-speaking patients in the United States, uh, instead of referring this uh, with a Spanish acronym, sometimes they say un MRI. Uh, and they kind of mumble the English acronym UNMRI um, or they might say UN ESCANIO MRI, UN ESCANIO MRI. There are several variations depending on your patient and what country they're from as well as what region uh, they're living in in the United States. So just kind of depends. And be sure to watch the end of the video. I will include a summary slide of all of these common medical Spanish acronyms so that you can take a screenshot of it and study it later. So as I mentioned earlier, the acronym PCOS in Spanish is SOP or SOP for short. So in Spanish, this stands for El Síndrome del ovario poliquístico, poliquístico. And the reason it's three letters and not four is because they don't use the letter Q um, for quístico or cystic in Spanish. So that renders it just a three letter acronym. And the acronym uh, COPD in Spanish, uh, like I said earlier, is EPOC or EPOC which that's an epic name for an acronym. I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist. But this stands for La Enfermedad Pulmonar Obstructiva Crónica. And to say STD in Spanish, this would be ETS, uh, which stands for La Enfermedad de Transmisión Sexual. And you might notice that uh, these last two acronyms are almost uh, exactly reverse of the order in English. Uh, and you can notice that it's common if you have a D in the English acronym, which stands for disease, then that'll just change to an E in the Spanish acronym for enfermedad. And continuing with IUD, which in Spanish would be DIU or DIU, not a DUI. Uh, this stands for El Dispositivo Intrauterino. And the acronym uh, HPV uh, is BPH in Spanish, which is El Virus del Papiloma Humano. And you can see that this acronym is perfect reverse order, so all is right in the world. 
All right, time for the mini quiz of medical Spanish acronyms. So the first one, or wait, I should explain the directions first. So what we're going to do is I'm going to provide you with uh, Spanish acronyms, uh, and then you're going to have to guess what those are in English. We're going to start out with number one is S-A-E-D-A, pronounced as SIDA, uh, SIDA. Number two is RCP, RCP. And number three is BIH. So I'll give you a moment to think about those Spanish acronyms and what those mean in English. All right, the drum roll. So the first acronym, SIDA, stands for El Síndrome de Inmunodeficiencia Adquirida. So if you guess that SIDA in English is AIDS, then you're correct. And for number two, uh, RCP stands for La Resucitación Cardiopulmonar. Or it can also stand for La Reanimación Cardiopulmonar. So if you guessed CPR, then you'd be correct. It's much more common to use uh, reanimación than it is uh, to say resucitación, even though that's the direct translation from English. Uh, it does depend on which country, which Spanish-speaking country your patients are from, but just be aware of that um, difference in use for those words. And for that last one, BIH stands for El Virus de Inmunodeficiencia Humana. So this would be HIV in English, which works out to be a perfect uh, palindrome or perfect uh, reverse order of the acronym in English. And now some miscellaneous but very important acronyms still in Spanish. For DNA, we would say ADN. And this is similar to the translation. El ácido desoxirribonucleico, uh, which is a total mouthful. So you can just say ADN for short. And similarly, RNA in Spanish is ARN, which stands for el ácido ribonucleico. And last but not least, we have WHO for the World Health Organization. So this would be OMS, which is La Organización Mundial de la Salud. And remember that mundo means world, so mundial is uh, like global. Uh, la Organización Mundial de la Salud. All right, those are all of the common medical acronyms that I have for now. Uh, I have included some additional ones on the summary slide that you can take a screenshot of in three, two, Muchas gracias por ver el video y nos vemos en el próximo video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.